see what you want me to see. Suck in my dick and eat right in your hole, ass. right in your under hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of duet comedy. It's all like there's there twins. Oh yeah, but Which how come cheating. I gotta be related to? Them? Why can't Mike and I go on stage and do a, a fucking long set? Do you know how easy an hour would be if we got to just do... dude? Yeah, just do a I, podcast, a yeah, live basically. podcast. I get, yeah, I guess there was what was that? What Sloven and Allen? Sloven and Allen. But Abbott and Costello. Yeah. But, oh. Uh, it used to be every Japanese duo. Yeah, we should be Japanese. Japanese. Duo. We should be more Japanese style. All the Japanese stand. Yeah, because Leo Allen people. and another guy. Mm-hmm. Had a half hour together. I remember seeing it. Sloven and Allen. Mm, interesting. I'd be a really good straight man. No, you what wouldn't. Do you, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I don't think that's funny. I mean, I would. Yeah, you I'd, would be. I'd be a really good straight man. Going, I pussy. I love having pussy and sex with women. What do you mean by that? Yeah, oh, I've never yeah. seen you. I've never seen you have pussy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I've never seen you have <laughs> pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Not once have you had pussy in this house. Mm-mm. How come your chairs are so low? How come your? Ch- Why are your chairs so Why low? Why are your chairs so low? Oh, because that's what because good, it's comfort. That's what that's good what, that's design what this, this, is about, brother. I think my chair chairs. is more comfortable than yours. Can you do this? Look, I can face you. That doesn't, have, <laughs> that doesn't have anything to do with yeah. comfort. Oh, Mike's talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn Let to him. Swivel. Yeah. How much did you spend on your chairs? May this I ask? Was, is that a? This was two hundred dollars. I also spent two hundred dollars on mine. I also spent two hundred dollars. Wow! But got the custom rollerblade wheels mm. so I can glide. It's a hardness on those bad boys. Let me feel. That's uh, a. That's got to be a ninety-eight A. No, 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 no. Those are those 82? are eighty twos. Maybe eighty fours. Eighty four A. Welcome to a little time. Welcome to Patreon. a little time podcast. Welcome to the Durometer Cast. Now this is no, regular. This is regular episode. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, I said I, I literally said we do the Patreon first, and you're gonna do on the right. I literally said it. Oh well, I have a whole different plan now. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Fine. Yeah, are you gonna be funny this time? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> that doesn't and sound funny. It, yeah, it doesn't right. sound funny to be funny. <laughs> you never thrown me under the bus like that before. Yeah, being a straight man. Uh, what is the main guys in Arrested Development? The the Michael. Yeah, what's Job? Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman. He's unbelievable at yeah. just being looking like what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why is this why is this strange thing happening towards me? Yeah. What an easy, fantastic gig. Yeah. yeah. He's very good at it though. You need a you need an insane eh. person. He's good at it in arrested development. Where is he not good at it? I don't really care for anything else he's ever done. Game night? Game I uh, stand. Hey, pardon me. Get up on your feet and stand no, corrected. No, bitch. That, that movie, <laughs> Game Night stinks. No, you're fucking stupid. I'm sorry, Jason Bateman. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. I disrespected Game Night. Game Night rocks. I'm disrespect- you're a bitch. I'm disrespecting How does your the chair. Testitos Corporation <laughs> even make yeah, it? Yeah, one of the top 50 funniest lines of all time in a movie. Yeah. I don't think it's top 50. Go Just, ahead. Should we go? Let's go through <laughs> top 50. <laughs> top right. 50. Everything said in airplane. <laughs> number number one. Uh, whatever Donnie says in the Big Lebowski. <laughs> it's funny taking Donnie says out of context because it's none of it is comedy necessarily. Yeah. You know, like ooh, have another hot one tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like, none of that's funny, what the fuck but up, it's Donnie? hilarious. Shut up, Donnie! You're out of your element. Yeah. What were we watching, me and you, recently? That was really funny, but wasn't intended to be. It was some movie? Oh man, I don't know what we could have been watching. What were we watching? Let me pull up my app. The last thing we watched, and well, we'll talk about it later. We watched watched some movie together yeah. last week. Way of the gun. Oh. Was Way of the Gun? Did that have funny mo- moments in it? In the I'll tell you this. Scene? I was losing my mind the other day. We were watching bad stand-up clips, and I thought a guy was being really existential, and I didn't realize he was doing a pun. Oh, yeah. We're and watching... I lost my mind. We were watching like YouTube, YouTube shorts, shorts of, of, of a specific uh, companies, yeah. comedians. And... and and I hope to do a special with them one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we won't... Right. But the guy, the line, the, the line, line, the guy goes, the line. can you die in the living room? And in my <laughs> head, I was like, I don't even know what that could mean. And I started losing yeah, it. Yeah, you went really I, deep on it. Yeah. And I'm like, can you die in the living room? He had room? a like, fantastical suit on, a very yeah, eye-catching yeah, suit. Unbelievable like, suit. I and do I was comedy. Like, oh, it's a fucking pun because it's the living room. Yeah, it's worse. It's Where you worse do- and I was so mad. And then I started laughing really hard because I didn't realize it was a pun and then. I just really had a fun time with, that happens with can me. you die in the living room? That happens to me a lot, is I don't even see how stupid a joke is. And yeah. so I'm like... Because I, I don't register puns. I Because I don't think mm-hmm. about them, and I don't like them. So when someone's doing a pun, sometimes I'm like, what What do they mean by that? Yeah, yeah, what the <laughs> hell is that? 
Oh, a word sounds like another word. Yeah. That's funny. Isn't that funny? How <laughs> you fucking dictionary loser. I remember what it was. Please. The, it's my the thing that tickles me more than anything is when someone gets oh, shot in the seven. foot. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do like when someone gets shot in the foot. And we're watching the way of the gun, which is not a funny movie, but it has good lines. Some funny but parts in the end. Goes around the corner and shoots the guy in the foot. <laughs> I was just like, ah! Every time oh, yeah. someone gets shot in the foot in any movie, yeah. it, it makes him. Move. I don't. There's nothing funnier than me than someone getting shot in the toes. When I see the videos of somebody uh, doing a negligent discharge yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they blow through their foot, I'm like, ah, that's the funniest thing ever. Oh my God, yeah. no, my foot, that's mine. I shot my thing. I think it's like, uh, I like to think about how it's gonna. that's going to be painful for months to maybe the rest yeah. of their life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and that also makes me laugh. Yeah. It's really going to change the next, the trajectory of the next couple months in their lives. If not the, re- like, they might not, they 15 years from now, they could be at their company's softball game. And he's like, I'll, I'll bat, but I'm not. I can't run. I can't run the base. Yeah, you know I can't run. You know because of the incident and everyone's like, oh, Because of my idiot. negligent discharge. Negligent discharge. I've, 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 I've had a couple of those. Some. Yeah, I've a couple of Not me. I discharge <laughs> whenever I mean to. Don't, don't touch <laughs> yeah, my penis. You're going to make me ND. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real ND filter on uh-huh. the camera. huh Okay. That's that. That's for all my film nerds out Bust. there. Yeah, I'm gonna I gotta get one for these little bitch. An ND filter? I mean, if I shoot outside with it, yeah, make it look cinematic. I like your I like your new studio. Thank you. Yeah, we got we're in the new studio. If you're gonna listen to the Patreon, is this permanent? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. it's fine. I, don't I like think it, it looks cool. I don't I know. Think... We'll see. What we, uh, yeah. Hey, vote or whatever. Just comment below. Do you like yeah. this? But it's both set up and break down, so I don't think it's any different. No. The only big difference is it's one chair being moved instead of two. Well, I had to bring. Yeah. I had to roll my third chair. Well, you over. wanted this. We had another chair in here for you. Chair. And you desired this. This was on your rider. Yeah, you can lay your legs on my. Put your legs on my feet. Put your feet on my legs. I mean, no, I like this studio because it's basically your room. It is Mike's yeah. room, and it's funny how uh, when you watch other podcast studios, they're like. Oh, I gotta decorate it with things I like, and yeah. it's just the most generic <laughs> garbage. It looks yeah. like fucking shit. And then this is just what my room looks like all the time. My office. This is what my oh. office looks like all the time. Mm-hmm. My bedroom is a, is a sacred and sanctimonious. Yeah, and big. A sanctity, yes. Sanct- yeah. It's sanct- really big. It's sanctity. Sanctimoniety. Yeah. No, sanctimonious is different. I apologize. No, that's fine. I said it. I said it incorrectly sorry. earlier. I'm that's sorry. my fault. I wasn't even listening. I did a thing. I was. Again. I was thinking about a guy getting shot in the foot. Yeah. yeah. Imagine a guy shooting himself in the foot, and you go, "Oh my god!" You take the gun and you shoot his other foot. Yeah. <laughs> Dance. I just saw YouTube. I don't know what the. You know when you just see a, a video on Twitter when you're half awake and then you don't think about it until later. I watched a video of a. It must be a movie, where this like. Guy puts his gun down, open the window, and a woman who I guess he has kidnapped or is friends with picks up the gun and she goes to shoot him, but the gun shoots this way and she shoots her shoulder and she goes, What? Ow! And he walks over and goes, What happened? And she goes, I went, I went to try out the gun and it shot backwards. He goes, Yeah, it shoots that. Be careful. It shoots backwards. <laughs> and he goes, I'll, I'll get you some gauze. And she he turns around to get some gauze and she goes to shoot him and then it shoots. Uh, she turns the gun around with the other hand to shoot him backwards and it shoots her in the other shoulder and he runs over and goes, oh, be careful, it alternates. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a Leslie Nielsen movie? A Japanese Leslie Nielsen oh, movie, okay. it I seems was, like. Okay. So I thought, that's very, really funny. Yeah, it's really funny. I thought you set up like it was a real clip. No, 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 it was a movie. <laughs> the and movie, then, the videos I see on Twitter is yeah, people yeah. getting shot for and real. Then, yeah, that's quite, and she runs out of frame without moving her arms. So it was a pretty funny little bit. Pretty funny little bit. I d- I'm going to say this. And I, I don't I hope I don't want this clip to come back and bite me in the ass. When does that ever happen? I don't want this to be used as some kind of dramatic irony. I don't want to get shot with a gun. No. Yeah. Hey. I do not want that. Would you want to shoot someone? Would I want to shoot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you think if, I bet it would feel I would really love good. To, I would love to kill someone without any consequences. That's not, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could co-sign that. I think that would feel awesome. What if the consequences were good consequences? Ooh, like, like I kill I, them and I get their wallet? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I kill them and there's one less homeless person around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool, okay. <laughs> we, we're, we're all American psychos. <laughs> yeah. I get to feed an ATM a, de- a cat. you get a job? <laughs> You fucking reek. Yeah. You get to take their gun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what if I'm on the subway and uh, and a guy's threatening me and my girlfriend and my, and my girlfriend stabs him and then I get to shoot him with his own gun? Yeah, he drops his gun and then... Mm. How awesome would that feel? 
I bet that would bring you and your girlfriend closer together. I think more than any therapy session could. Yeah. Oh no, dude. If a if a woman yeah, stabs a if a woman yeah. stabs a guy for you and then you get to shoot him and it's all self defense, the stabbing's probably not self defense. Let's just say it is. It's hypothetical. Yeah. She was, We're having fun. Yeah, this uh, this situation would never exist in real life for sure. Never. Not near our apartment. Definitely not close to our apartment at all. <laughs> not one. Mm, it's it, funny. Four subway stops. Yeah, not <laughs> even a little close. <laughs> it's funny. My family. Anytime there's like a storm in New York City or like a, a tree falls near Central Park, they'll call me. And be like, you okay? Central Park. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, fine. And they're like, then this happened so close. Yeah. Not a. Peep. Did they hear about the tree that almost fell on me? No. Oh yeah, I sometimes walk by that tree and my yeah. bike almost died there. Yeah, it's gone now. And another tree fell in that park. Another tree fell. Do you think it's from the bugs? I forgot about the bugs. What bugs? The ones that were the lantern, lantern flies. flies. Those eat trees? I think so. I bet they don't help the trees. They don't make the tree better. If they did, we wouldn't be mad at them. But that's the thing. Do they go away in the winter? Do they just die? And they come back in their the pods or something? Probably. But here's the thing. You know my stance on lantern flies. Listening to the government about killing them is one step towards fascism. Uh-huh. Why does the government want us? To kill them? I'm breeding. Exactly. Them. I have them in my room. I got an incubator, like I'm in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, and that's I'm feeding them honey one by one and making mm-hmm. them stronger. Yeah. Mailing them across the country. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm giving. Them, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm mailing them in, in, in pa- I'm like the Unabomber where it blows up, but instead of uh, shrapnel, shrap metal is it shrap- shrapnel? Shrapnel. Shrapnel. It's uh, lantern fly seeds. Yeah. You know you can eggs. Get bugs. You get it. Bugs. You know you can do that with ladybugs. I have heard of this. <laughs> you can buy packages and then just ship people ma- ladybugs. It's probably sealed, but it'd be it's funny. Probably sealed, yeah. It'd be very sick to just open up and like, oh no, spiders! Fuck <laughs> shit! A bunch of bees! A bunch of bees! <laughs> Fuck a bunch of bees! And they're angry. And then a gun comes out the bottom and shoots you in the foot, so you <laughs> drop the box, and then all the bees fly everywhere. That's my second, actually, second favorite. Uh, Injury when it comes to comedy, Ooh. a bunch of bee stings. Is a bunch of bees yeah. stinging someone is always funny to me. Yeah, I don't know why. Because then afterwards you get to see them with a bunch of red welts. Yeah, yeah. Or their faces all blown Loose up. Loose gauze around their face. Yeah. But I mean, you showed me the video at that tennis match the other day where there was a bunch of bees mm-hmm. and uh, Bill Gates was just sitting there. Yeah, everyone. A bunch of bees were swarming in the first like ten rows. Yeah. And people left, but Bill Gates and some other weird Epstein Island friend. Do you was think probably? He, do you think he has an antidote to bee stings? I was oh. say, I was saying he has some sort vaccine? of vaccine that's that's you know how like cell phone frequencies are are, are killing the bees. Yeah, quote unquote. He's got that inside of his his black black heart. He has a little. He's five G. A little mm-hmm. pager. Yeah, and he just. Woo, 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 he's a little five G square woo. on a necklace, like a, yeah. like a life alert. It's like it's like an apple tile, but it keeps away bugs. Yeah, I think he also just knows that bees don't bother you if you don't. That's half true. It's hornets you got to look out for. I'm looking out for both. No, I love bees. Bees will attack you if you're just standing there. Not a lot. They won't all focus on you, but they will. You'll get got. They'll get. They'll be like, "What are you, a person?" Pink. You're like, "Fuck." And it's like, "Hey, man, you killed yourself. You to just do that. killed yourself. You, you killed your, me. You killed yourself to <laughs> make my day be like, oh man." The only time I've been stung by a bee is when I was swimming at the pool. That's the only time? And I was swimming, and then I'm just like, ow, underwater. <laughs> and I look, and there's a bee that was drowning, and I'm like, oh. It oh. made me feel, it really bummed me out. It was so sad for the little bee. Yeah. That, that but was, he attacked you. He was drowning. He was scared. Mm. He la- tried to latch on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I if I was dr- in my mouth. Mm, yeah, that's true. But if I was drowning, I wouldn't, and, and like a lifeguard grabbed me, I wouldn't start stabbing him. I wouldn't shoot his foot, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you didn't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, who's this big sexy man grabbing me? I better shoot him about it. Yeah, it's uh, their ignorance. That's the thing with bees; they're so ignorant. Yeah, they they don't. <laughs> bees these days don't even read books no more. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know There's what's up watching, or what's down. They're watching TikTok. Bees are still racial profiling, dude. That's true. You never seen any black apiarists? Oh, think about that. You want to know it? Hey. I, I just made up. A, I just made up like a popsicle stick joke. I thought you were gonna, oh, was yeah, it a pun? Yeah, go go go! Yeah, kind of a little bit. What what's a bee's what's a bee's favorite website? Porn Buzz. Buzzfeed. Mm, <laughs> damn, <laughs> fucking hate puns. <laughs> That's like a popsicle stick joke, though. Yeah, right? you said yeah. you. Hey, you gave fair enough warning, and I think we are all we were all on board for what P 
piece well, of shit was about to be delivered. You know, I'm not saying the joke was good. And I know you're. I saying was saying that. the math was a, checks out. It was a setup, and it was a punchline. Yeah, which is more than we can say for a lot of comedians nowadays. Thank you. No, in I, Biden's America, you, I can only do premises and setups. You're, you're a premise guy. <laughs> I'm a premise and a setup. Pre- I'm a. Pun- I'm only a punchline guy. Mm. And so I'm I, a segue guy. Yeah. You're like, what else? You just on stage. What you else is going you on? go, hey, how you doing? I'm Diego Lopez. What else is in the news? <laughs> <laughs> you hear about this? Did what? you guys hear about that? You uh, hear about this is actually a really funny name for a special. Just, yeah. You hear about doing this? a monologue, a late night monologue? Yeah. Hey, you hear about this? You guys hear about this? Jay Leno. <laughs> That's the name of my special. Yeah, Diego Lopez, Jay Leno. <laughs> Diego Lopez presents Jay, Jay Leno's, Leno's material. Yeah. <laughs> He's not doing a special. I'm going to do a special. Yeah, material. this motherfucker. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do all this jokes. It's, it's hard driving a car in raw denim. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. That's pretty good, I'm, right? That was amazing. Do you know to lose 47,000 keys? Yeah. I can't drive any more cars. I look, like I look like I'm God's janitor. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Fucking Give me Conan's TBS show. Yeah, I want that one too. Yeah, I want I want Conan's podcast. <laughs> Dude, Jay Leno uh, needs a friend. <laughs> can I say this? Oh, I fucking hate Conan's podcast. You hate it? I fucking hate it. It's pretty it's mid. It's bad. I don't like it. I don't like. It's it. not funny. It's not. If there's like every video has like seven unskippable ads in it. Unbelievable amount of ads for. And it's like yeah, of guy. course he's like one of the most famous people that's ever been on TV, but. Come on, man. His strength is fucking with uh, normal people in the street. Yeah. Not it's really what should, he should be focusing is is traveling. And I mean, he, I thought they were going to do that. They did I think it for it, Netflix for like one season. I think they announced like a release date for his new show, which I oh. think is like Conan Without Borders, basically. Yeah. Conan, no reservations. He should yeah. be just doing anything. No reservations. There should be one. He should have one reservation. Conan weird foods. Yeah. Where he goes to Ethiopia and eats fried tarantula. <laughs> yeah. It'd be funny to go to like like you do the weird food show, but you go to a country and then you just eat another country's cuisine while you're there and it's bad. Or like you go to England, just eat a bunch of Mexican food that sucks. Oh, yeah. It's there. like really bad. And you're just like, it this sucks. This isn't bad because it's weird. It's just bad because it's like, why is there broccoli in this burrito? <laughs> huh. Your McDonald's is different. Yeah. <laughs> just reviewing oh, their fast food. Dude, that's actually, yeah. That's, yeah. I like that. Because I had a great time eating fast food in the United Kingdom. Oh, you did? I really had a great time. Fuck, I love fast food. I subsisted mostly on fast food when I was there, if we're being honest. Because they were the only restaurants that were open after like 8 p.m. Do you think it has, they don't put all the 5G? They don't. I mean, soy burgers. All their French fries are vegan. That's not, you you need the beef tallow. Mm. The beef tallow McDonald's fries. Nah, I I was eating them. Because they also have milk in them in America for some reason. Yeah. Like whey or something. Makes us all strong and big. It's not true. It's absolute. Americans are the. Fattest and strongest humans in the world. I'll say this. I'll give you half of that. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely the fattest. If we we're if, not though. If we went on a per capita, make, we're not the fattest? Samoa. Samoa. Oh, there's that like one island that beats Samoa where they have like an eighty percent obesity rate. Yeah, because like there's because pop- there's thirty two guys and and twenty eight of them are fat as shit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's like a population of like four thousand people on this island. Whoa. And they they film it and everyone's and fat and they're like. This 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 island is slowly sinking, but not because of global warming. <laughs> <laughs> Just because all you motherfuckers are still standing on it. Hey, fucking it, it spread out a little bit more. Yeah, Even come in on. A, <laughs> we told you, not everyone could be on the south side on Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah, but it's tipping over. But yeah, dude. The and then the yeah the five G soy burgers at McDonald's in England and the five G soy chicken sandwiches at Burger King. Really good. Really fucking nice. good. Nice. The the McPlant is fine. That's the like vegan Big Mac, basically. Okay. But the fries are awesome. McDonald's fries are so good. And they got the Coke Zero, obviously. And then the Burger King long chicken sandwich that's vegan. Yummy. With cheese and bacon. Ooh. What do they call, Ooh. What what do they call a Big Mac? And... What, what, one question at a time. <laughs> no, I was yeah. doing a Pulp Fiction reference. <laughs> what do you call it a Big Mac? <laughs> what do you call a Big Mac in UK? A hot sauce burger. That's the Saudi Arabian one. Yeah, they're, they're taking over. They're taking over. They really are. They're taking and over. And I one salute. One. <laughs> see, I can see. Oh, see, because on this podcast, I openly uh, pledge my allegiance to the Chinese Communist Party and Xi Jinping mm-hmm. often. Just to cover my tracks. You never know. It's kind of like when you're going to die and you pray to all of them. Yeah. Wait, what were you going to ask about? I said, what kind of sauce is on there? Just a mayo. Yeah. That's what mayo ketchup? Maybe mayo and ketchup? Oh, was was right. our ice cream, ice cream machine broken? I honestly don't even think they even had one. What? Smart. Yeah. 
Also, yeah, we went to Taco Bell and they had like a. Did they have a? They might have had vegan meat there. Oh, not horse meat. Not horse meat. I mean, they probably had horse meat there also. That was a controversy, like recently, right? I mean, there's a bunch of twenty, like, yeah, probably 20, twenty years, years ago. ago. Yeah, <laughs> like there's a bunch of horse meat in uh, Europe, McDonald's. Yeah. So, so what? So what? You guys love eating horse meat. What's the difference? That's a that's a delicacy for you freaks. I would eat dog if it tasted good. I mean, and I bet it does. To, you can go to the Philippines and try it, I like would. my dad did. Did he eat dog? I don't know if he ate it, but he was available. He ate a dog's pussy. That's what it was. <laughs> he a ate lady it. dog? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was, it, was this a girl cow? It was a, a girl a horse? <laughs> I'm not eating a fucking dog, dude. <laughs> yeah. But no, there was, my dad was saying that on the beach, I think it was in the Philippines, mm-hmm. uh, on the beach, instead of, there was like, he was like, it was a guy pushing a cart and you think it'd be a hot dog cart, but what it was was a bunch of eels hammered into the cart by their head. <laughs> Oh, I've and, seen that. And then they cut, they just cut it off at the head and, and grill it for you over like charcoal real quick. Well, that and sounds you nice. Eat it. Yeah. Do you have one? Really I, yeah, he ate one. He's fine. He's like, yeah, he's like, fine. He's like, I tried, tried, I tried it because it was there. No, that's whenever there's something weird. Uh, I love ordering the weird yeah. thing on a menu. Like horse meat. Absolutely. I feel like there was a place in Canada. I think it's over in the Maritime somewhere. They like you can, because they're so remote, you can just. Uh, kill other humans and eat them yeah no one Ooh. will know but no you can like eat like like restaurants can sell wild game there. oh like right right because yeah. it's illegal to sell to to sell wild game in restaurants here really yeah in here? in uh, in like new york for sure because there's so many ways to just get supplies where it's like if you were in i'm sure if you're in montana and the closest store is 40 50 miles yeah. away and a guy shoots a moose or whatever shoots a deer, yeah. and it's like, oh, I have deer, I have deer stew at my, you know, one diner that's around here. I, I don't think anyone's like, hey, man, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We but, shot a bigfoot. Yeah, exactly. Might as well so, slice them up. And I eat would, them. you know what? I would break vegan for bigfoot meat. Would you? For bigfoot meat? Yeah. What about a mammoth? No, because they're starting to clone those. Yeah, no, it's bigfoot. It was like a, I would have to. There big would have to be meat. There would have to be the threat or the possibility of gaining some type of power from it probably i feel like you gain some kind of disease from it yeah big ass foot disease because i feel like anytime humans and monkeys because bigfoot is just an ape that is true anytime uh, humans and monkeys get involved in any way in any it's way. not good news i think that's what about, you, that's i feel like that's propaganda yeah that's only when you eat the brain oh you're not supposed to eat the brain you're not supposed to eat i was gonna brains. bring up eating the brain if i was talking about fucking it <laughs> oh no! I know what you were talking about. Which I'm is exactly. sure we're all on the same page. That's yeah, no, no, because fucking it is uh, factually correct. That is how it started. <laughs> no, I think the theory is that there was some guy chopping up monkey meat, and he had cuts on his hands, and that's, and that's how he got AIDS. That's how he got. That's how AIDS started. And then Holy shit, how he gave it to another guy in the remote jungle okay. of wherever it started. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, I would, I'd be. I hate to be Bigfoot and get AIDS. Be a real bummer. Yeah, yeah. Man. you don't have the kind of money that Magic Johnson had. Did upon. But sex. <laughs> Wait, what? It'd be a bummer to get AIDS from B- Bigfoot because you get a fucked bu- in the butt. A bum. A bummer. A bum. That's a British. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. The puns puns are bad. Hey, hey, I love you. Hey, you're my so is British humor. <laughs> For the most part. For the most part. M- Mr. Bean is goaded. Mr. Bean is goaded from the sauce or no. whatever. No, Mr. Bean. You're has saying a, no, Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean has a. Are you skibbity... seriously being a? Are you being a Mr. I'm Bean? I'm saying Mr. Bean is not goaded with the sauce. Would you say he has? I'm disagreeing riz. on your sentiment. I'm not <laughs> saying. Care less about that. I'm not saying Mr. Bean is bad. I'm saying he's Hall of Famer. Of what? Of comedy. And of of com- No, of I would the say one of stupid phys- bit. He physical does. humor. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying in the subgenre. Sure. Because it's like he doesn't talk. How am I going to put him in the fucking talking category? Exact, exactly. Mr. Bean does comedy for adult children. <laughs> he does. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He does, he does comedy <laughs> for Hispanic immigrants families. who are trying to get together with their children <laughs> and connect on any level. French pedophiles mm-hmm. and Hispanic families of five. You have no idea how much enjoyment Mr. Bean brings to Hispanic families of five. I've never thought about that. That's probably why he has billions of dollars from worldwide success. Yeah, yeah. No can, language. Anyone can see, laugh anyone at Anyone can it. watch Mr. Bean and enjoy it. There's no unless, more... Unless you have good taste. Then you can't watch yeah. it. Who does, who does outside of, of America? Yeah. Okay, what about this? Mr. Beanst. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. It's Mr. Actually, Bean no, Mr. Fuck Beanst. You. I'm not giving this up. <laughs> no, because Mr. Beanst is funny and you know it. Well, give me an example of what he does. 
oh, he, I, I locked myself in a room for 100 hours and tried to get up out of a chair. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Right, there you go. See? That's pretty I good, I knew right? he would get a good joke out of it. Thank you. I, that's how much I believe in this piece Mr. of shit. Mr. Beanst. <laughs> Mr. Beanst. <laughs> Just a thousand people in a room not talking. Yeah. <laughs> Don't pick it to each other. I Dude. stole another comedian's wife <laughs> for a million dollars. Absolutely. Yeah, she, they broke up. Um Mr. The the the, the 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 bit where he's cheating on a test is so unbelievably funny. And, and it's so smooth how the person he's cheating on like scoots away and he's like looking away. Hey, look at me do Mr. Beast. I'm sorry, I'm writing down Mr. Beanst. <laughs> and he, with his elbows, pulls his body uh, so smoothly across the deck. It's unbelievably yeah. talented. Here's, here's my problem with him. Okay. Mr. Bean is funny. Thank you. But he does. He's not twenty billion dollars funny. The amount of money Rowan Atkinson no, has. No, you're wrong. You're wrong. It does not. Constitute- you're absolutely wrong. And you, you already ex- explained why it translates to so many people. You have international appeal. Mm-hmm. You have to give credit to. Uh, the ability of being that palatable. I'll admit you're right, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the MacArthur. <laughs> oh my god! Can you, all right. Oh yeah, but Max like, here, by the way. Mac is my so. because there is a thing where it's like, oh, lowest common denominator, blah 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 blah. Uh, yeah, because I don't it, think it's lowest common denominator. I think poo poo dookie. Yeah, farting is 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 lowest con- common denominator. I would like to see Mr. Bean take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> lowest common denominator. I dislike when it's talking comedy. Because it's like, shut the fuck up. But you're like, hey, you're handicapping your game. Yeah. You're, I'm okay with you oh. lowering yourself. Cool. You don't get to talk. You nailed it. You're so fucking good at this. Okay. There's like six episodes and he's a cajillionaire because of it. <laughs> Nine episodes? Like, it's crazy. Who's made more money from less? There's like a movie. Fran Lebowitz. Yeah, man. She has not written a word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think she's made more money, but she's also made a lot of money from Person, a little bit of work. It's like the Blair Witch Project, how it's the most successful movie because it's it costs the least and made the, the most. most. Yes. Percentage wise. Yes. Yeah, percentage wise. Friendly Woods, you fucking old bitch. I love you. Yeah, because it's like because it's like, oh, Marvel movies make yeah, 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 uh, yeah. make a billion dollars, but they cost two hundred million to make. So it's like, okay, you five X your investment minus all of the promotion that you have to do. Yeah. But Blair Witch Project cost probably forty thousand dollars to make and 60? they sixty thousand dollars to make and they probably made, I don't know, seventy bill seventy million dollars yeah. and that's like a crazy whatever. It's, it's hold on. Uh, and they paid the actors seven thousand dollars. Yeah, they, pa- they probably paid the actors nothing because they just were all like, Oh, we're just gonna make like they did they produce it also or were they were they who? the people who acted in it? I don't know. I don't think so. No, they just So the Blair Witch movie Cost between thirty five thousand and sixty thousand. I believe I've heard sixty thousand multiple times. Yeah, and it it's worldwide box office. Worldwide box office was just over two hundred and forty eight yeah, million Christ. dollars. Let me see what I can think about. That's how, fucking crazy. Nope, think that's about how funny Mr. Bean would be in the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> <laughs> His silly faces that are He's, scared. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> I like when he does the noise. <laughs> He's against the wall, looking back at you. <laughs> yeah, dude. they made four thousand one hundred and thirty-three x their money. Damn, that's a crypto scam. Jesus. Amount of money. What did Fran Lebowitz do? I don't know. She her... wrote two books. Are they good? That yes, they are good. Fiction, nonfiction. Uh, nonfiction, like essays, like see, books of essays. Let me see if she, she's what? Like audible. Just or, kind of like or, she, Libby. like like live, like Libby. life. You know, just kind of like she was a taxi driver in, in the in Times Square for a while. Whoa. Like just like all this different like life in the seventies, opinion pieces, whatever. Things used to be better. Yeah, but dude, she actually has the one of the most nuanced takes on that that I've ever heard. She was like, "Yeah, things were better in the seventies. I was twenty two. Life is mm-hmm. awesome when you're twenty two. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like that's a cool way to be like, yeah, it was cooler then. We had more freedom. We could, you know, do whatever. But also, I was young. Yeah, and I was reaping the benefits of being young, which is crazy. How rare that is. That ability. Yeah. I don't know what the word is, but the the, the ability to have that like perspective, not perspective even self awareness. Self awareness, I think, is the right yeah. word. Yeah, it is rare. I have it. You do have it. I'm putting the Fran it's reader. That's two books in one. Oh, okay, what are cool. the two names of the two books? Does it say? Doesn't say. Yeah, whatever. I just what whatever a billion dollars. I, uh, she, no, she's probably made a couple million dollars off of like. I saw her on the on the train on the she plane. She wrote. She wrote uh, on the train plane. On the plane. She wrote Where? two books fifty years ago. Wow. And is still like a celebrity about it. Do you think she just knows the game and it's like okay, I gotta appear 
every two to three months I have to make an appearance. I have to keep my celebrity relevancy yeah, score. She, and she, so. But she also is like involved in other stuff in New York City, like you know, like rich people stuff, like fundraising and all these different groups doing a lot and of stuff. Talks. Yeah, exactly. Doing a lot of talks, doing a lot of appearances. Uh, a, it, it goes to show how important branding is. Where it's like, if she didn't, if she wore other stuff, I don't think she'd be as, like, if she changed her outfits a lot more yeah. often, I don't think you, you you wouldn't be as iconic. I wish I had the fortitude to have to one outfit. One outfit. I, I, I don't think it's for everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you have two outfits. I got pants and then shorts. Yes. Soft <laughs> pants and hard pants. What well, is soft pants? Your Adidas track pants. Oh, uh, yeah. Like leisure right. pants. And his shorts. And his Adidas shorts. And those that qualify. Hey, you're a brand man, though. You got mm-hmm. you wear Adidas bottoms. Mm-hmm. And then Dude, you wear I dressed your, up for you guys. Do you wear the I same know. underwear? Yeah. Like you have one one style. Well, I'm in between brands right now. Oh, can you give us some insight? Yeah. Um, what are you leaving? What are you going into? I uh, he's, t- he's taking his talents to Miami. <laughs> 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 I'm taking my talents to Fruit of the Loom. I'm taking my t- to Tommy John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from because I'm from Utah and I'm accustomed to oh, dry Mormon Mormon uh, magic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope. Uh, temple garments. So when I first moved to New York, I was instantly like chafed everywhere oh. i was always sweaty and chafed so, up. so i was just i had to figure it out quickly and i found out i started buying bamboo weave okay stretchy oh. uh boxer briefs yeah and so then i uh i've been buying these ones that were really good but then amazon accidentally sent me a different pair or i ordered the wrong pair and they're better oh so i'm not i'm, I'm upgrading nice. i couldn't tell you the. i could tell you the brand want me to look it up yeah i mean people because i have know. i have all uniqlo boxer briefs right now mm-hmm. but i think i gotta i think i gotta re you gotta make a change because of your body composition because of my body composition because wow. they're all larges i think i gotta go to medium yeah yeah i've done but, cotton uh, like yeah. every polyester every wool every mix and it just messes the me up one? the bamboo one whisks all moisture oh. away interesting Gives me that dry, I arid love, feeling. I love those Nike compression shorts I got. Mm. Really love those, but those are not underwear. No, it's not underwear. They're comp- they're undergarments. Undergarments is different though. But yeah, there, there's a they don't exist anymore. But there's an MMA brand called Jaco years ago, J A C C O, and they tried to make a bamboo rash guard. Yeah, and it was really soft, and I wore it. So I was I think I was gifted it, and uh, it was really soft. And someone put their whole foot through, like it just went through by the shirt. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it was a funny. Yeah. I'm like, hey, your fucking foot's through my shirt right yeah. now. Like it's too soft for this type of um, activity. I ordered a rash guard today. Did you from where? Amazon. Oh, okay. What brand? RDX. Oh, okay, yeah. Leon Edwards is sponsored by them. Yeah, it's a very. I'm new at jujitsu. Yeah, yeah, I just was. I just, just want. I just want a black rash guard. Yeah, I hear you. Do you ever see guys walking around in jujitsu like a rash guard or like a gi stealing um, valor? Just, and, not, if they do it, they're not stealing valor. Um, no, if they're in the middle of Times Square, just wearing it casually. Okay, they yeah. don't care. Um, I've seen some of the rash guard. I, I saw s- a guy walking with hand wraps on the other day. That's embarrassing. Oh, okay, cool. What is that brand called? Just Zonbalayan. <laughs> Men's underwear, stripe breathable, anti chafing boxer briefs, multi pack with fly. 40 bucks. Is he in here? No, it's a cat. He's. What are you doing, buddy? What's up, dude? Um, Do you want to come hang out with us? And if anyone's curious, I wear uh, Calvin Klein low rise classic trunk. Okay, well, I have to close the door, though. So you either have to. No, low rise trunk, not classic. The classic is different. Low rise trunk boxer briefs. Come on. That's all I ever want to wear. The best, they fit my. Yeah. Tight little ass. I so gotta, good. I gotta figure out what brand because these are, these are a little loosey goosey now. I hate, I hate feeling it. Yeah. Like I hate realizing that I'm wearing underwear. Like mm. I like that I'm like, oh, I forgot I'm wearing underwear. I literally don't even feel them. I don't think about them. I'd like to have the body and confidence to go commando, like on a first date. Dude. Oh, that's okay. It's insane. It was. I'm just. I'm trying to make the podcast interesting. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> I mean that. Yeah. Maybe Once I get the cat in the room, I gotta go in commando story for you. Okay. <laughs> You you never go commando because of necessi- necessity necessity yes. necessity. Um, it feels I'm good. Sure, I have. I don't like it. You feel it feels dangerous. It feels like I, you're getting yeah, away. Yeah, I get that. Like, Ooh, I think my penis touches could, my zipper. I don't like that. I could whip my cock out at any time, <laughs> and it's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, like, don't be mean to me. <laughs> don't be mean to me. I'll fucking pull my little cock out right now, uh-huh. just like I did during Love Lies and Bleeding. Hey, put your fun. put your phone away. <laughs> hey, put your phone away. Don't be like that. I'm just showing my cock on accident. Quote yeah, unquote. That, that guy who was jacking off Dude, during the so, lesbian it's movie. so awesome. And then fell asleep. Because that's what you do when you jack off. After you nut, you fall asleep. <laughs> Especially a big nut like Especially that one. Especially <laughs> a big nut like that. Did you see that movie? Love Lies Bleeding? No. no. 
No. I'm going to see it, I think. Yeah, I might go see it. Do you I think heard that... the ending is dumb as fuck. Excuse me? I heard the ending is dumb as fuck. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for ruining that. If, uh, if anyone doesn't know, there was some guy on Twitter who posted a picture like, check out this guy. And it was a guy in the front row. It was like, what is it? Like, uh, I think he's in the front row. I think he was in the, the front. There was like the, the first, two yeah, levels. Yeah. Okay, the normal front row. Anyone sits in the first five rows is yeah. insane. Yeah. Oh, is Chuck using... Maybe he's going to take a piss or a shit in his litter box that's in here. Oh, that's makes, oh it makes sense. It's in here. Yeah, should, yeah. We put, should I put my mic in there? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a photo of a guy in the, the front of the movie theater. After the movie was done. Movie's done. He's still asleep. He was just asleep in this big uh, Alamo draft house like yeah, seating. Yeah, legs up. And, recliner seats, and which it, I love. He had a coat over it, so he had a coat, but it looks like someone moved his coat or he like brushed or, his coat. Yeah, and so his just little penis was out. And he was just, a little was, soft nub. He was so comfortable, just asleep. He looked yeah. so. He looked like a little. I bet cherub. you that's. I bet you that there has to be one of the harshest. Like this is one of the best sleeps of my life. I'm drunk yeah. and I jacked off in a movie theater, <laughs> Dude, and then and you're, you're waking up. You're woken up by being arrested. Yeah, because you are doing. It. You're. You're. What? I will say this. His exposure. It was indecent. It's very. Indecent. It was not decent. Do you're, they know he was him. jacking off? I think he had cum all over. <laughs> you get arrested and there's a bunch of cum on you. Your Honor, uh, someone else came on me. I don't think it was indecent exposure. I clearly have a micro penis. Yeah, I don't I know how I that would be threatening pretty, to anyone. That's pretty decent of me to have this you really small penis. Pretty close to look at it. Why are you so yeah. close to my penis? Weirdo? I did. I will say I really did have to zoom in yeah. to see his. Oh. I they should account for that in uh, like crimes. Yeah, how much you had to zoom in to see his penis? Exactly, like because it's like when Lenny Kravitz's penis fell out of his pants, you didn't have to zoom in on that sucker no, at all. Fucking take a step back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we can take this whole thing in. Actually, speaking of, so at one time, I was playing a show with my band, and I had these short. This I was probably like nineteen twenty. It's probably nineteen twenty or so. Those are your best cock years. No, not true. Oh, okay. <laughs> my best Close. cock years. My best cock years are yet to come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yet to come. I still have never come. Mm-hmm. But pissing and shitting, he was pissing and shitting. He was. That's Yoda. <laughs> that's Yoda <laughs> talking about a cat. His cat <laughs> pissing and shitting. He was. Oh, but okay. nip cat. He loved. Yeah. But I. So I had these Dickies pants that I'd cut into shorts. Uh-huh. But but I. They were a little. They were a little snug on the waist. Okay. So but if I wore them without underwear, they were fine. Wow. That's how that was That's the difference. That's how on the cusp. How thick is your underwear? Yeah, how thick is your underwear? Full it, wool? I don't, Leather a, underwear? I think I, I think I was a. I think I was still a boxer shorts guy at yeah, the time. You were in corduroy So there boxers. was a, di- there was a, there's a decent amount of fabric with a pair of boxer shorts as, as opposed kind of to. the top. As opposed to, yes, as opposed to a boxer brief. I can't even imagine wearing boxers right now. Yeah, insane. But so I was playing a show, played a show, whatever, did all the jumping around and that stuff. What did you play? Bassist. I was, I think at this time I was playing guitar in the band. Guitarist. But mostly I played bass. How, hang, how low did you hang your guitar? Ooh. When I played bass, I would hang it really low. Below your penis. Way below my penis. But, or at least like at it, like close to, but so I. But when you're playing guitar, you're playing above the penis? Playing, yeah, guitar pretty high, because right. it's more about, uh, it's about above the equator, below the equator kind of thing. <laughs> just Mac working at like Sam Goody or whatever. Sam Ash. Sam Ash, and just be like, do you play? Do you play uh, above the penis or below the penis? AP or BP? Yeah. <laughs> hey, bud. Do it, brother. Thank you. Thank you for pissing and shitting in here while we're doing this. <laughs> uh, well, at least we closed the door, so it's really fucking locks the stink in. <laughs> but so whatever, like we play the, sh- the set. And then there was a, whatever band was headlining, and I was moshing for them. And someone was like, hey, man, I think your shorts ripped. And I go, what? And they go, like, your nuts are hanging out. Oh. <laughs> I was fully hanging dong, Whoa, hanging you got some sack. Hang- you got some hangers? I was. Here's the thing, though. I don't. My balls are up pretty. Yeah, tight boys. I, yeah, they're up but pretty tight. At maybe because of the heat. Because of the heat, or maybe because of where it ripped or how high I had yeah. to have the shorts up. It's like a tube of toothpaste just squeezing. Yeah, so out. I really just had. My balls hanging out while I think the band Shipwreck played. <laughs> so I think they might have said something about it on stage. Wow! It I wish like I, I wish I had a better memory. Yeah, but you know, again, we're not supposed to make it past thirty-one. Dude, I was thinking about that the other day because I was at I went to a uh, friend of the show Casey James Salengo's oh, album recording CJS at the Gutter, and I was in the back talking to friend of the show Casey James Salengo. And friend of the show and former roommate of ours, Will Winner. Will Winner. And we were all just talking about our prostates and how often we have to pee. And I was like, we should all be dead, actually. Mm-hmm. We should not have to worry about this, and we should be dead soon. 
Medicine, I think, is a mistake. Yeah. yeah. I think medicine was a big mistake. It's I don't think us back. I don't think we should be living fucking eighty years and then thirty of them hurt. Yeah, man, it's it's a it's a tough one, because like, why can't I just get cholera on the Oregon Trail mm. you, or you, dysentery? You don't want to die in battle. I don't want to die in battle. Not for a country I don't care about. No, you die for your your lord. It's oh, a, it's a guy you see. It's like yeah. you and eighty guys fighting for your land. Yeah, that's different. I would, I would not. I will say this: I would not go to war for our landlord. I don't even know his name. It just switched. Yeah, that's right. But I guess just, who I'd go for our. We don't even have a landlord. We have like a leasing company. We have property true. management company. Because I mean, the way it used to be for us, we had that one lady who lived in the same building. Yeah, I would and, kill and her. I would go to war with her. I would go to, I'd murder her. We would have hands. screaming matches in different languages. Yeah, which is kind of awesome if you think about it. Not for me. To be, you understood both. Well, because I had to translate. <laughs> no, and her and I would scream at each other yeah. in the hallway sometimes. You're like that guy in the UFC ring. I'm like the guy, uh, the guy who looks like Christopher Nolan. You're like the white, the white guy who does the the Portuguese. She says uh, you bring dishonor to <laughs> her family, yeah. and that she w- wants the pure love of Christ to smite you. Yeah, and you're like, tell that fucking bitch. Tell that fucking bitch I'll pay rent on the fifth when I feel like it. <laughs> She's lucky I'm giving her anything. Yeah, that fucking bitch. Hey, I know COVID just hit and no one in the apartment's working, but I'm thinking I'm going to raise the rent about three hundred dollars. What if I raise the rent because I want to? Yeah. Because I need it. I'm gonna start. If they, hey, if what? They, what? I was gonna say if they start raising our rent, I'm gonna start stealing copper out of the walls. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna raise our rent again once we resign here, unless we don't resign here, which I'm fine with. But I'm also now that I moved into this area, I'm like I'll just stay here forever. I don't mm, care. Yeah, we'll see. Um, welcome to the energy drink corner, welcome. everybody. Wah 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 wah. Make a noise, back. I'm doing Mr. Bean. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, doing Mr. Bean. This week we have 3D mm-hmm. Galaxy Lime flavor. Cool for them. Cool can. They usually, usually do a very they sleek, do the repo man singular. Can. Yeah. Mm, now that can sucks. It looks like a crypto scam. How many things are look like a crypto? I'm scam? just saying that's of that like the ilk, the stupid like lines and dots. There's there's constellations. There's constellations. Yeah, that's a super easy like JavaScript bullshit thing. That Do you think it was put... AI generated? No, I think it was uh, copy and pasted code. Yeah. Okay, well, this week we're doing 3D Energies Galaxy Lime. You like them though? 3D? Yeah. Um, I just noticed the constellations were all limes. Lemons is and that? lines. That's yeah, fun. They're all lemons and lines. Oh, okay. Galaxy Lime. No yeah. poem on it. Um, you go and crack that open for me, Mac. No poem? No poem. There's a poem. Not, Not recommended, recommended for children. For children. Really People, what? <laughs> Did no. you already know my bit? <laughs> no, go ahead, finish. No, you, you already Do knew. I like 3D? I think I like 3D enough. They're I'm fine. Not like a, I'm not like, oh, not I would defend. I'm not going to yeah, defend them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to to like uh, to bat for them. Oh, it's, it's uh, not vegan. It has glucornolactone. Fuck. Oh, again? Fuck. Not again. Not glucornolactone. Of- in- inositol. What is inositol? That's something good, right? I don't think so. That's I don't think it's great. anything bad. I think it's great for you. And I think, oh, cool flavor or a cool blue. color. Pardon me. Is it blue? Yeah, it's like a weird. Ooh, Fortnite. Ooh, it's Fortnite. It's Slurp Juice. Slurp. Oh, let me give you a little bit more. Yeah, please. Ooh, inositol is, helps for your menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle. <laughs> you go back. Thank you. My menstrual cycle is set to tumble dry. Oh, there you go. That's fine. Yours is oh, white. It tumble? smells really blue. That smells so blue. It smells so blue. It's crazy. That almost smells like um, whatever the shit inside of the. Oh, that's kind of awesome, dude. Keeping the, the combs clean in a barber shop. Oh, barbicide. It tastes like a like a blue icy. It does taste like a blue icy. Not a not a slurpee. The icy. Yeah. With the yeah. cool polar bear. Yeah, the, yeah. Ooh, fun. This is awesome. This is actually really good. That's the incital. How much how much caffeine are we talking? Let's see. I need to know. Do you feel your shields going up? Yeah. I just sure. want to know if I should be drinking this often. Because if it's if it's low caffeine, it's like there's no point. I also don't remember where I even got this. I think Where's I found caffeine? it. Caffeine. Where's caffeine? Found it at the place that has the vegan bacon, egg, and cheese in Bushwick. Oh, it helps healthy hair grow. I don't see where the caffeine number yeah, is. Go ahead, go take a look at that. Yeah, I'm yeah. probably missing it. That's... It's got to be written down. It'd be illegal not to be written down. Three dollars. Yeah. yeah, what do you yeah, mean? Cans of beverages cost. That's an off-brand energy drink. No, it's not off-brand. It's just a smaller brand. Two hundred milligrams. Off-brand implies how much? Two hundred. Nice. Off-brand implies it's like a Doctor Thunder. Okay, well, it's not like Red Bull or Rockstar or Monster. But this is, this and is those like, are too much. Those are and this highway is, robbery. I think this is one tier underneath. Yeah. I don't... Mm, 
Celsius is kind of breaking that. May they can charge three dollars for their shit. They right? do. Dude, Prime charges more. Sometimes Prime is like five dollars for a can. That's crazy. It's That's crazy. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But this is very nice. Yeah, yeah, it's too nice. It's too can. It's, I like it. It's like candy. I don't it like is it. Candy. I like no, it. No, Mac this wants really chemical. Ma- Ma- I like, Mac wants pain. Yeah, I want chemical want burning. I love poison. There's a little mint to it. <laughs> I think it's really nice. I really want more of this. I want more cans of this. This is my favorite in a long time. I think. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. I need this for jujitsu later. It's very nice. It's quite nice. I don't yeah. love it. I do. <clears throat> It's a little uh, a little more mint than I'd like in a beverage. I'm getting a I, here's mint. the thing: I usually don't like mint, but whatever's going on here, it's working I, I like. well. It's not bad at all. It's good. No, it's, it's good. I'm gonna give it. Yeah. Three point six five. Whoa! Oh, that six five. Yeah. Crazy. I was gonna give it. I was like, it's mid three point five. <laughs> then you get it. And you I'm want. giving it four point two five. Ooh, four and a quarter. Fun. Four and a quarter four and a, for Michael. Do I get four and a quarter here? Four and a quarter here. Five, 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 five and a quarter here. Five, five, five and a quarter here. Five and a quarter there. I I think it'd be funny to to, to become an auctioneer and then just kind of stop paying attention halfway through. Oh uh, fuck! What was I saying? What was uh, I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? <laughs> Who remembers what I was saying? How much did you bet? I forgot. 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 Thought about my wife. Thought about my wife. Over yeah, here? she left me. She left me. She left me. She left me. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. And uh, the man in the big hat. Why is your shirt so tight? Why is your shirt so tight? <laughs> I gotta. Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, you guys keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep talking while I'm pissing, and I'm uh, in the bathroom. My hot mic. Hot mic. I'm pissing. Hot mic. I'm pissing. Watch yeah, hands, you, watch hands, yeah, you get the jinx. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't piss because my prostate is uh, enlarged and I'm over thirty. It is so fucking funny to that there's you go you go to school for that. There's a school to become a good auctioneer. School is a strong word for it. Class. Yeah. You have to. Is it like plumber where you have to be an apprentice auctioneer? I don't. Oh, good question, Matt. Good question. Thank you. I. You know what? I think we've tapped my entire knowledge (laughs) of auctioneers. Do you think it would be fair? I think I think, it, it I think you fair. I think it's kind of like refereeing where it's like oh. you don't get to just go to the NBA. Yeah, you have to do college first, you maybe high school first. You really build your way up. Yeah, so it's like maybe you're, maybe you're not doing a like maybe you're starting off at like a chicken auction before you could do pig and cow and horse. Oh, I'm thinking uh, like items, not animals. I forgot about the animal part of it. Yeah, it's a whole thing. What I'm saying. So it's like maybe you go so maybe you get to go like town fair. Yeah. and then county fair. And then state fair. Imagine seeing some kid and you're like, oh, he's going to be great someday. Yeah, that kid. He's going to be Christie's. He's, yeah. They must have a Michael Jordan of, of auctioneers. There has to be a Michael Jordan of let auctioneers. Me type in, what if it's Michael see, Jordan? Let me just see. What if he's an unbelievable it's, auctioneer? Uh, ironically enough, it's Scotty Pippen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's see. Who is the Michael Jordan who of auctioneers? That should be a search engine. Yeah, who is the Michael Jordan of? It's just whatever. Yeah. My favorite uh, comment on NBA Twitter or TikTok or whatever yeah. is I'll be whenever it's someone doing something like LeBron or Kobe, I'll be like, Kobe Bryant is the Michael Jordan of basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Really and funny. people are like, what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> it gets people really, a lot of people yeah, think yeah, it's funny. Because those, because, yeah, because like sports people like that, some of them are so entirely humorless mm-hmm. and are so obsessed with like, it's kind of the same thing that we were talking, I guess maybe it was on the Patreon. Yeah. We're like, uh, like when people really want to debate about something, and you just go like, "Okay," someone goes like, I-, "I think LeBron is better than Michael Jordan," and you go like, "Okay." We we'll bring up a third thing. Yeah, I actually think uh, Wayne Gretzky is better than LeBron and yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan. I would say Michael Jordan is the Wayne Gretzky of basketball. <laughs> yeah. And they go, "What?" You know what I mean? Yeah, it is just it's something so stupid that just th- makes all their gears halt because yeah. they're normally waiting for you to be like, "No, I actually think Kobe's better than LeBron," and yeah. then they just argue. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I like Brian Scalabrini. If you type the in the White Mamba, <laughs> if you type in who is the Michael Jordan of auctioneers, it just gives you a bunch of auctions of Michael Jordan stuff. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Obviously, that really makes a lot of sense. But then I typed in who's the best auctioneer, and uh, the winner of the 2023 World Wives Live Stock Auctioneer Championship is Jacob Massey, folks. Whoa, wow. it's Jacob Massey. He's our number one. Play, play a clip of Jacob yeah. Massey. Oh, okay. Let's see. Can I get a one clip of Jacob Massey? Even that one clip, I just hey. want a sixty-second clip. That's hey. hard. It's hard to talk fast. And a clip. I can barely talk slow. And a clip. And a clip. I can barely talk slow. It's so funny. <laughs> we got a one-minute clip. And a clip. And a clip. It's one minute Ooh, long. And that's sixty seconds. Right away. 
low, let's see, let's see, Tuesday. Tuesday. There he is. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I got This is from, this is from 10, 12 years, 11 years ago, 20, 20. 2013 Mule Day Auctioneer Championship, Jacob Massey. Oh, so still, he's been winning. He's been So he winning. is the Michael Jordan. Why do you still have ads on your phone? <laughs> on your YouTube. I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Ooh, Jacob. This is walking up the podium. Jesus he's black. Christ. Was he really? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Get to the fucking auctioneering. No, no one cares. Do you think he starts slow? Or do you think he just... He gets into it. Yeah, he's starting slow. Do you think he thanks the Chiefs before he started? <laughs> Okay. Here's what I like about these. I want to do. I want to do auctioneer crowd work. Yeah. And what do you do? You guys dating? You dating? You dating? Are you dating? Are you dating? And who's fucking? Who's fucking? Who's fucking? Who's fucking? <laughs> you know the thing I like about these auctioneer places. And yeah. It looks almost like a courthouse, and but there's like one railing where a horse has to walk by. Yeah. Yeah. The horse is just like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, fellas, how are you? Nice to see hey, you. All right. Yeah. That's how a comedy show should be. One audience member walking by, and all these comics be like, hey, and you're fat. You're looking at a little bit. Look at a little bit. <laughs> fat, yeah, fat, yeah, walking around. <laughs> I just had an idea. Oh fuck! Let's go. Stand up comedy peep show. What's peep? What like the peep when show you like put when you put like a dollar in oh. there and the thing comes down and then the lady starts doing sexy dancing. The piano mm. teacher, what she does. Mm. You do, but there, but she's watching videos. Yeah, she's, I, I'm talking about live. They have they because they used to be live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Used to yeah, it used to be uh, some whore sitting back there, mm-hmm. and then and which is not like derogatory. This. Just she is a Making whore because she's doing no sex reason. stuff for money. Spreading and shit like this. Yeah, she's spreading her shit like that. And <laughs> don't disrespect them. I'm calling them a whore. Spreading her shit <laughs> like that. Like that. She's spreading her shit like hey, that. She's spreading her, spread her shit. Spreading her shit. Spreading her shit. Spread her shit. <laughs> but you put, so you put in a dollar, and then I start doing stand-up comedy. Okay. Do you think auctioneers are good at eating pussy? No, I don't think inherently. I think there's some that are. But I don't think it's in here. I don't think the it, the the. the one they talk, I don't think this because their their because their throat and eating pussy is tongue. Exactly, a Latin auctioneer. Now you were talking because oh. we roll those to- those R's <laughs> like a bad man. <laughs> I think as soon as you guys start paying for stuff, then you can have auctioneers. <laughs> you fucking thieves. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Right? I'm a can't refute it. Yeah. <laughs> you got my ass. Thank you. Yeah, man, that shit good. That shit good as hell. Do it again. So there's just a comic standing in a glass booth, and he's like, yeah, "Fuck, man, I so gotta just do." Waiting. I mean, what's the difference? That's I guess that's why they switched over to video. Yeah, but are you you can't see the person in the booth. You're not making fun of them. You're not, it's not a roast. You might be able to see them, but you're not inherently doing crowd work and roasting them. I put the dollar and have a comedian laugh at me, and I'm like, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's giant. There's still a guy who has to come in there and mop a bowl of cum. <laughs> I'm the I'm the cum mopper at the stand up comedy peep show. Mm-hmm. Man, yes, nasty. Yeah, dude, I'd I would go take a nap in one if I was really tired. Yeah, like like, like, like there's like you're like stuck in Times Square or whatever, and you're like I'm so tired. Yeah, and then how much like, is a hotel room? A hundred dollars. Fucking wish, dude. Go, go, how long? You, how long is a booth for? Mac, you know, Only ten minutes. Ten minutes? I can't nap in ten minutes. Yeah, I'll, I'll get. Let me get three. Let and the aroma three. would make me feel like I'm at home. Yeah, exactly. Oh. All the nut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ten different guys nuts. Ten different guys. Well, uh, to be sad nuts. To be fair, I bet it's happier than a normal one. To be fair, we Sick. do have an orgasm trough in the house. Yeah, where we all have to deposit our nut. Yeah, we it's, do our. It's more clean that way. I just think it's easier than having it segregated around the house and it kind of permeates the entire house. We have one. We have draw. a, a we litter our, box. We have a, we have a cum <laughs> litter box for the for the men of the house. <laughs> we, our bus tithing. <laughs> yeah, because it's like when they come around to collect. It's like it's like you know you have to separate your 
uh, recycling from your regular really? garbage. You have to re- you have to separate your cum from the rest of the house. I don't want to throw it in the garbage. I don't know yeah. where the garbage man takes. I that. don't know. I because I saw I, them, wanna... <laughs> I, I saw them suck it on the to- on the yeah, tissue yeah. recently. He's up the and I'm like, hey, you gotta fucking pay me for that shit, dude. That's how you get a, a clone or a baby. <gasps> Ten years from now, you're like, what? All those tissues? Yeah, exactly. Someone stole so it. now they're all. I've never jacked off into a tissue in my life. I mean, cleaning it up. I feel like tissue is the worst possible thing. Too thin of pa- paper. It's it's. You t- Sorry, you not stick- a tissue, a paper towel. Okay, paper towel is different. Paper towel Pouty. is different. I'm busting loads. Because I need a, the quicker picker upper of nut. Because I think of like tissue or toilet paper on like a cut and it's sticking. So it'd just be stuck to all the cum on me. No, not if you pull it. Not if you like if you leave it there, yes. But I hear what you're saying. Pull the cum or the tissue. Like, or am I pulling? If I if I if I nut on my thigh, pull yeah, the but tissue, have you ever tried to, there. Have you ever like gotten something on your pants? Like, like you're cum? like you, you got a bunch of cum on your pants. You're like eating a big mustard sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and a big the nasty sloppy mustard sandwich. Yeah. And you get mustard on your pants and then you try to get it off with toilet paper uh, and it just sandwich. has toilet paper dandruff all over your pants for the rest yeah. of your life. I was thinking the sandwich was so good. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you take a bite of a sandwich and you come. <laughs> yeah. Spicy brown? Oh fuck. Dude, that's the travel that's the travel food show. Which food in this town makes me <laughs> come in my pants? And you're like, once again, all of it. Yeah. I have a food fetish, but not even in a sexy way. Not I mean, in the way you Just you're in thinking. a way that every time I chew, I come. I'm in the peep show booth, and I put a quarter in, and there's just a Subway art sandwich. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, put extra lettuce on that fucking bitch. Extra lettuce. Extra lettuce is what gets you. It's my fantasy. <laughs> in this fantasy, you like vegetables. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's the way to do it. Do, do it in a peep show. Peep show booth that yeah, a peep show booth that you go and you put in. Do you think you would jack off one of those things? No, absolutely. A peep show booth that you put in a quarter and and it opens and there's a guy in a peep show booth and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> and you're like, oh shit, I'm sorry. And you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm at work. I forgot. <laughs> oh shit, fuck. That would be a fun prank to porn shops. Yeah, yeah. The very, share a wall. <laughs> a full Japanese porn, uh, Japanese uh, game show prank show. <laughs> Oh fuck! I'm sorry. Two guys have to be like they're just oh what? No, what the hell? This guy's ugly. I want to go on that Japanese game show where they jack you off, and then you have to do like karaoke. karaoke? You just sing karaoke while while you get jacked off by a hot woman. Which song do you think you could do the best as you're being jacked off upon? Oh, while I'm getting jacked upon. Okay, I'm thinking crawling from Lincoln Park. I I think I could do Kiss from a Rose pretty well mm. while I get jacked upon. I think I would do Short People by uh, <laughs> what's his name. <laughs> By uh, Randy Newman. Yeah, Randy Newman. I would do. Uh, people good. I would do that one REM song. Man, 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 Or or uh, was it Billy Joel's? We didn't start the fire. Oh, that one. Yeah. Whatever all the fucking words he says. Joe DiMaggio. I think I'd hit people. I'd do like a Sigur Ross song where I don't have to know any actual words. Yeah. I do. Yeah. I would do a Bjork song. Yeah, that's all you need. I would do a Philip Glass that a forty-five minute song, the forty minutes, forty-five minutes and thirty-three seconds of silence. That is a, a experimental, like uh, classical. Jesus, I would he's because he's like an experimental composer. I would do the national anthem and bring <laughs> honor by, by to radio, our nation. By Radiohead, <laughs> yeah, the the bass line. No. Yeah. Oh say. Yeah, I think I could. Uh, I don't think I would come. Unless is is she like a particularly good blower? No, she's just a cute Japanese lady. Yeah, I don't I don't do I, well with people watching me. I don't like yeah because your prostate because my prostate yeah it's all, it's, it's all out it's all big and out it stinks. I hate now that my prostate's large. I have to wake up every three hours and come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm gonna <laughs> crank off again. Um, I like cranking off. Yeah, I'll let's, say it. Let's do uh, before we go. Let's do a movie pass corner. We haven't done one on the regular episode in a little while because we usually have a guest that we don't like. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Welcome to no the taste having pieces. M- 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 movie pass c- corner. Um, I tip? rewatched. Uh, that's, that's the flex. We How re- many movies to talk about? So I want to show my muscles. Rewatched uh, Paul Verhoeven's Starship Troopers. Just kidding. I watched Starship Troopers with you guys. We watched Starship Troopers uh, because it fucking rocks. And yeah. Mac and I have been playing Hell Divers. And uh, you God have, damn! You have a second it. pair of pants on. I got uh, long johns because I'm cold. Oh okay. Look at that. 
making fun of me. And I was like insecure about it, so I was like, oh, I don't yeah. want, I don't want the viewers to look. Yeah, so and then comment. I had to point, and then I had to point it out. <laughs> no, I'm like, oh, that's gonna be yeah. the. They're gonna name the episode Long John's. Max nah, Long John's because yeah. he's a bitch. Um, Paul Verhoeven fucking rocks. Starship Troopers is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very fun. It's it, it's apparently satire. I'm from hearing this for the I first time. I don't think so. I don't think it is. <laughs> I think it's straight it's down, down the, the middle. Barrel, <laughs> and it's pretty cool that there's a bunch of white people in Argentina. I think that's rad. Um, I did notice, well, there's it's white people, black people, Latino. Mm-hmm. No Asian people no in the future. Zero Asian people in the future. And I say finally. Because no. <laughs> every uh, science fiction movie does have, like, oh, in the future, China takes over. Yeah. So, like, Firefly, there was, like, a lot of Chinese people in America. And, like, makes sense. But Paul Verhoeven has the nuts. That sounds like science fact. Ah, this is his fiction, so he gets to... Yeah, dude. And the, uh, you know, we don't, we don't need to harp on it too much. It's been talked about to, to death. But, good movie. But good movie, but also... Uh, the special the effects. The special effects are fucking crazy good. It's crazy. It's like 1996. Crazy how good it holds up. It's like Jurassic Park, where you're like, what the fuck? Why does it still look good? Because they're still animatronics. Well, because Jurassic Park is still live action for the most part. Yeah. It's like a good blending, but I think yes. uh, everyone gives credit for District 9 looking like amazing, but it's like the aliens. When you look at a 3D human, you're like, oh, that's fake. Yeah. But when you look at an alien, especially you, it's like a, a bug or like something with shark, like a carapace, yeah. you're like, oh, okay, that looks real. Yeah. But to do that in 1996. Yeah. And then also have uh, close up shots where it's like. Yeah. Oh, that's a real bug exploding with like live rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the brain bug at the end, I'm like, it looks all snotty and gross. Like, that's fucking awesome. You apes want to live forever. That's fucking awesome. I like, dude. I like when like a bug or like an alien or anything in a movie is really wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're I always wet. That. Like alien? Like alien. It's all covered in Like, jizz. Yeah. Because their prostates are so big. All David Cronenberg's movies are really yeah. wet. He's got, he's his the, wet budget is He's got some of the charts. wettest movies you've ever seen in your entire it's, life. You'll, Crimes you'll, of the Future is unbelievably wet. Yeah. When you buy an old Cronenberg movie on VHS and you go to oh, like to release it from the pack, it slides out really slow yeah. and smooth because it's all fucking wet. I hate my old movies that I got to re-lube up because yeah. I've had them so long. Yeah, for so long. <laughs> so Star Trek Troopers, a fucking banger of a film. Great. Oh, I should log that. I didn't log it on, on Letterboxd. Uh, oh, I watched... Is there Wait, is there anything in Starship Troopers you agree with, unironically? That I agree with unironically? Because a lot of people are like, obviously, like, it's satire, women fascism. Are, women, are, women will break your heart. Ooh, women will Long break your heart. Long-distance relationships don't work, <laughs> and women will break your heart. That's a really, that's the yeah. big thing to take from the movie. Yeah. Um, you can, you can't sustain a relationship over FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> over. Let me tell you yeah, from no, experience, no. brother. That's the part that hit me the hardest. Because there's, it's there's one part where it's like uh, service guarantee citizenship that I'm yeah. kind of like, and everyone's like, it's a satirical thing of fascism. I'm like, okay, but hold up, that's kind of a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of that in the movie where yeah. I'm like, I know this is a bad thing, but I think it's good. Yeah. That's like when I watched the whichever one of the Marvel movies and Thanos is in it, and I'm like, half I agree a lot with everything with Thanos is saying. <laughs> half yeah. of us have to go. <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. You guys yeah. are it's like clogging watching, shit up. Just watching falling down and being like, he makes some fucking points. Yeah, I'm like, wait, he's the bad guy in this? Yeah. Yeah, Eleven's a crazy cutoff for breakfast. I don't understand yeah, what the problem Mr. is. Mr. Rational. Um, Everyone's day started at a different time. Yeah. Uh, I like the uh, the the... If you don't fight, I'll kill you myself. Yeah. And um, the co-ed showers, I really believe in that a lot. Yeah, I believe in that. I really believe in that I believe in heart. the power of a delicious, beautiful rack. A beautiful <laughs> pair of tits while I'm taking a shower, and I'm not hard, That's and I'm just average and cool. One of my formative childhood memories. Truly same. Is I, my dad stayed home from church on a Sunday, <gasps> and he was watching Starship Troopers. Oh, my God. And I walked in, and I'm like, what do you watch? I walked in during the co-ed shower Holy scene. Holy shit. And he was like, watch a Starship Troopers. So I sat down and watched it with him. And it was a cool. I, I remember that being like, "Oh my god, there's tip." But then I remember like forgetting that because yeah. it's like, "Oh, this movie's so kick ass." Cool. Yeah. Is that the first time you saw boobs in no. a movie? No. Hmm. I don't know. Probably. Yeah. I'm Mine was in a Bruce Lee movie. Oh. Fist of Fury. Tits of Death. Tits of Death. <laughs> I think it was Fist of Fury. There's like a woman like topless in a in like a kind of river bath situation oh, pretty early in the movie. That's nice. I think there's yeah. tits in Carlito's Way, which was, I think, one of the first movies I ever saw. There should be more tasteful nudity in PG-13. Yeah. Just like a flash, just so... Yeah. Little bit. So you're not so... Uh, 
hungry for it. Yeah. As a kid, you're like, yeah, you go, you get to see something, no big deal. Let's just, grow up. Let's all oh. relax. Hey, I thought you just wanted to free the nipple. All of a sudden, yeah. no. Um, and I also watched half, and then I finished it last half night. What? I watched half of it, and then I finished it the other half last night when I went upstairs. That's insane. Um, <laughs> Watching half a movie. The Harrison Ford, which one is it? Blade Runner? God damn it. Indiana Jones? Air Force it's One. It's not Patriot Games. It's... Uh, the Fugitive? Oh, it's Patriot Games. I watch- <laughs> <laughs> it's not Patriot Games. It's Patriot it's Games. It's Patriot Games. It's, it's his, when he does Jack Ryan... Because I saw Clear and Present Day, Clear and Present Danger when I was really young because we had it on VHS. Yeah, and then like hunting for the hunt for October, and um, he's in that. No, but that's the same oh. character. It's like their version of James Bond. It's Who's, like who, whoever wrote those fucking Tom Clancy. Oh, okay. Um, I thought it was like the British James Bond. Patriot Games, their version of James Bond. <laughs> sorry, Clear and Present Danger is pretty good. Yeah, Patriot Games that I watched last night, not good. And Hunt for October is pretty good, right? Hunt for, yeah, Hunt for October fucking rocks. Okay. It's very fun. As long as you don't care that Sean Connery's Russian. What about this? The Cunt for Red October. The Cunt for Jesus. Red October. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's that kind of podcast. Oh, my God. Um, no, awesome. This movie- that was a nice pun. A dirty pun. <laughs> Thank you. It didn't make any sense at all. It didn't make a lick of sense. Like, this, which is what I would do to the Cunt of Red October. This movie is, is Harrison Ford has left the CIA, and he's on vacation in the UK, and he happens to stop- uh, the murder of the, I guess the queen or the princess, and uh, the IRA is doing it. And uh, oh, this is an anti-IRA movie. Yeah, fuck that movie. And, that. Um, you can't believe you watched I, that on St. Patrick's Day. I'm, Insulting. I'm, I did, was Take busy. your green sweater off right now. You don't. Oh, yeah. Give me your, yeah, and your green red, <laughs> and your and your red hair. <laughs> red hair. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't know. Fuck, it, kind of boring. And the the last fight scene, it's too dark. You can't see anything. Like, yeah. but also it might be by projector. But it's a, I get it two and a half stars. It's it yeah. fine. I like Harrison Ford. I like how he doesn't want to be in anything. Um, but I like, couldn't I couldn't relate to anyone more than Harrison Ford. Yeah. A guy with a piercing that he's too old to have, mm-hmm. who doesn't really want to be anywhere. Doesn't want to do interviews. Yeah. It's, it's very kinda, funny. Kind of cranky yeah. all the time. I think uh, people don't understand. That he's kind of fucking with them. Yeah. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Like a lot of his jokes go way over like interviewers' heads. Because they think of him as a serious man. And they're, the, yeah, they'll ask him something and they'll be like, oh, oh. And he's like, he's clearly yeah. just fucking with them. Like in the Bill Murray style way. Yeah. Bill Murray gets away with it because everyone expects it. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, he's doing it. He's being funny. And then Harrison Ford. Bit. Also, Harrison Ford's a hero in real life. The plane was going to do 9-11 and he crashed it. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't have went down like that if Harrison Ford was there. <laughs> it would have went down differently. Yeah. It, that's, it was nine ten, and he stopped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He that's was, why we don't remember nine ten. He, he was going to do a nine eleven, and then he crashed his own plane and then everyone was like, oh, he's a hero. <laughs> he's a hero. Thank you so much, Harrison thank Ford. Thank you, Harrison Ford, for not doing a nine eleven. And thank you for listening to the podcast, everyone. We love you so much. Please follow Mike, uh, follow Mac at Dr. MacArthur. Follow Diego at this Diego Lopez. Follow, Follow Mike. Mike. Oh, wait, I thought I was going to do it. Don't interrupt me. Follow Mike Abrusi at, at Mike Abrusi. And also, he's on the latest guest on my podcast, yes. Cowboy Boys. Patreon.com backslash a little time pod for four bonus episodes a month. Four? Is there sometimes video, five? Sometimes five. Four, one bonus episode a week. Yeah. And video of all episodes a week before everyone else and also patreon.com backslash cowboy boys help us out we love help you. us we out love paying you. our rent we need you we love you and we our need house you. needs to Someone be our, help me. we need to give podcast money directly to our evil landlords uh-huh. and you can help us with that by and, t- subscribing to both patreons and if you subscribe to both you get exactly no discount we love you thank there's you so no much. way to do that <laughs> we don't know how to do that we're I, not don't gonna. Think, I don't think that's a part of we don't system. know how to do it and we don't want to do and it and I would actually if you subscribe to both <laughs> I'm going to charge you more how about this if you Venmo me $7 a month I'll also steal both the episodes and <laughs> email them back to you no <laughs> bye 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 bye